In this video, I'll show you how to put animations into OBS and how you can use them as transitions. This video won't tell you how to necessarily create them, but I'll show you how to put them into OBS and how you can set them up to work properly, just like what many pro streamers do. So let's get into the video. So when looking at the interface, you're going to want to go down to the scene transitions and click on the plus icon here, and we're going to select Stinger. From here, you can name it whatever you like, and then you can put the video file of the transition animation where it says video file. There is another important part here that I would like to discuss, and that is the transition point. Upon transitioning from scene A to B, you'll notice that the transition occurs instantly, which can be problematic for most animations. The fix for this is to set the transition point to a later point in time, so that it aligns with the transition. Alternatively, if you would prefer it, you can also switch the measurement of time from time to frames. This could be helpful, especially if your animation has a tight window of time for the transition to happen. Hey, I hope this video helped you. This video was a short clip from my course on OBS, so if you're new to the software, I'd highly recommend checking it out, as it goes into details over many things discussed in this video, as well as some other things such as the interface, the settings, and a lot more. The links to the courses are in the description, so if you decide to check it out, then I greatly thank you. See you across the internet.